Versatile tractors have always been known for reliability and durability. Today I'm going to show you some of the daily maintenance checks an operator can do before going to the field to ensure long life of his new versatile tractor. Please ensure that the articulation lock pin is put properly in place. The fuel level can be checked using the sight glass on the side of the fuel tank or by the fuel gauge located inside the tractor. The auxiliary fuel filter should be checked daily. The seal must be tight and leak proof. Clean the fuel filter with a cloth to remove any dust or debris that may collect on the surface of the filter. Visually inspect the filter bowl. Look for water or other contaminants. If water is found to be settled in the system, unscrew the drain and let the water drain out. Once the water is drained out, you can tighten it back up. A hydraulic oil reservoir tank is located in the rear of the engine assembly, directly in front of the driver. A sight gauge is mounted on the left side of the engine compartment. This sight gauge is visible without opening the left side of the engine hood. Read the sight gauge. It is marked with an add and a full line indicating oil level. If additional hydraulic oil is required, remove the cap and add oil as necessary. For more information on recommended hydraulic oil, see Section 7, Specifications, Lubricants and Fluids. Inspect engine oil level. Open the left side of the engine hood. Unlatch the dipstick handle and pull the dipstick from the tube. The dipstick is marked to show the minimum add or the maximum full. If additional oil was needed in the engine, unscrew the filler cap handle and add oil as necessary. For more information on recommended engine oil, see section five in your operator's manual under the lubrication and maintenance section. The transmission oil level is checked by looking at the sight gauge on the transmission assembly located on the rear lower right corner of the transmission case. If additional oil is required, remove the filler cap from the tube, add oil as necessary. Oil levels must be properly maintained in the differential housing and planetary hubs to provide adequate lubrication and cooling to the differential and planetary components. Position each wheel in turn so that the drain plug is at the three o'clock position. Each axle housing has a convenient sight gauge located on the right half of the axle when facing the differential input. The level in the gauge should be even with the fill plug. Add oil as necessary. Inspect air filters. With the engine off and the parking brake on, unsnap the six spring retaining clips and remove the lid from the air cleaner housing by pulling straight back. Grasp the primary filters by the handle and pull each of the two units straight out to remove from the housing. Clean interior of filter housing with a damp cloth. Grasp secondary filters by the retaining straps and pull each of these two units straight out. Inspect filters and replace as necessary. Reinstall housing cover and refasten the six spring retaining clips. The cabin air filter is located on the underside of the cab roof on the driver's left side. To remove the cab air filter, unscrew the single retaining screw holding the retaining plate. Pull the air filter out and inspect for damage. Use compressed air to reclean the filter if required. Reinstall the air filter back into the frame. Place the retaining plate back into position and reinstall the retaining screw. The coolant system reservoir is located on the top front of the engine. A sight glass is located on the left side of the engine, which is easily visible. Engine coolant should be completely full in the sight glass. If engine coolant is low, add coolant through the radiator cap accessed on the top of the hood. Open up the front grill and inspect that the radiator and cooling area is clean and free of debris. Check the intake system to ensure that all fittings and connections are tight and properly secured. Check the fan belts to ensure there is no signs of wear and tear. Do a visual inspection of the hydraulic lines and fittings on the tractor looking for any signs of 
loose or leaking fittings or hoses. Tighten if necessary. Check to make sure all wheel bolts are tight and properly secured before operating the tractor. Be sure to lubricate all the grease fittings on the tractor. There are 12 grease fittings located in the articulation area of the tractor. These should be greased on a daily basis. Check that the windshield washer fluid level is adequate. Fill if necessary. These maintenance checks are also outlined in your operator's manual.